Hey everyone, Cassie here with Kenra Professional. I'm excited to show you this haircut today, the butterfly bob. I love how it turned out on our beautiful model, Anna, and I can't wait to show you how we got here. I just got Anna back from the shampoo bowl. I used the Kenra Platinum Restorative Shampoo and Conditioner. And now I'm going to go in with our Platinum Pearl Detangler. This is gonna be great to help make my hair easy to go through, very calmable and very soft, but also not so soft that I can't style it later. One of my favorite new products and it smells amazing. For my hair cutting, I always start with a profile part. And because of that, I always comb all the hair straight back. I'm going to identify where the middle of her head is, taking my comb and just a profile part right down the middle. I'm going to start just below the occipital bone here and have her look down just a little bit in my first section, enough that I can have a nice visual line because this will be my guideline for the length, but not so much that I can't control it with just my comb. And now normally I would do quadrant parting and you can still do that if you want to, um, but on this, I'm just going to take it into two because I'm gonna keep combing it in this direction so that I can keep parting it in this direction. For the length of the cut, we wanted to go with kind of a more traditional bob length, so not quite to the shoulders, which would be more lob length, but not quite to the chin, which would kind of fall in that kind of more French, more uh, French bob length. So right at the middle between those two areas. You can see because of the way that my, I've combed the hair that this makes it easier for me to create my sectioning. I'm resting my hand against her head. I am using a finger's width, so it'll give me a little bit of a bevel, but not much. She has fine hair, so I can take a little bit more um, than I normally would with somebody with thick hair for a section. I just really, the most important thing is that I have enough hair to cut, continue my line, but definitely not so much that I can't see through it and see my guide. A bob is a classic cut. Uh, I feel like a bob can be used on, worn by many people. I think that actually there's a bob for everyone. It really matters about face shape though. Always considering, you know, how the face shape um, will interplay with the length that you're cutting. Um, most importantly, I know even for myself, I'm somebody who I love to wear a bob, um, but I have to be very particular about where it hits. Um, otherwise I look like the Dutch boy from those paint cans. Uh, <laughs> so having a bob hit the right place is just super important. And that is something that really when you're kind of showing your client, I always show them in the mirror, like length, like where it looks. And so they can kind of get a visual idea of what that looks like. All right, so now that we are at the corner of her ear here, I'm actually gonna start incorporating the sides. I think it's really important to kind of just help preserve our guideline all the way through. This is also when I'll have her hold her head up straight. And as you can see, because we've been combing the hair together the whole time, I'm actually gonna just pull a part straight through. So easy to do when you're combing the hair in the same direction of your parts. So where I'm at right now, I have her ear and I'm starting to work into the side compartment. Of course, we know when the hair dries, this ear is probably gonna push the hair out a little bit and that's fine, happens. We're not mannequins. So what I'm gonna do to compensate that is just make sure that I have enough wiggle room in this section that it doesn't, I'm not over pulling it so that it doesn't, so it compensates for that bump that would happen. The other thing I'm gonna do is I want a little bit of a forward angle, so I'm gonna pull everything back to this guideline as opposed to wrapping it around straight like this. 
This will give us a slight diagonal forward. I like to stand right in front of where my section is. So now, instead of following my guide through, I'm actually gonna stand here at this corner the whole time and bring all my sections back to this place. So again, just lightly tapping to compensate. Again, pulling that forward, tapping that. Again, because I'm standing in the same place, it forces me to bring my line around. And that, again, will give me that nice, soft diagonal forward. Very natural. Next section, same thing. Following it around from the back, forward. A bob for somebody with really fine hair, it's nice to add layers. Um, the butterfly bob is perfect for someone like Anna who does have fine hair and wants to create lots of volume. It's important when I'm combing the hair, especially as I'm getting to this top section. I'm not really combing hair now that's falling naturally all the way to the back except for just a little bit. So I'm really allowing the hair to lay in its own natural fall. Now where we are, you can even see that she has, have, has no hair really falling to the back. Just very, very couple little pieces that I'll take care of, but really it's about the sides at this point. Now she has side one complete, and I'm gonna go over to the other side and follow the same pattern and guide. Now I'm just gonna do a visual check from the front, understanding kind of where those points are to make sure I'm following that same line and that I have a good evenness on both sides. rarely talk about combs, but I think it's important that when you're dealing with fine hair, we're not using the wide side of the comb because you're creating a lot of space in between. On fine hair, I feel like it's really important to use that, the smaller teeth, the closer, the teeth that are closer together on your comb and a nice fine comb because this will give you a nice clean section. Now for the layers on this bob, I wanna get a visual of where I want my length to be the shortest around the face. So I'm gonna comb just that kind of front section forward, kind of this, this forward fringe. To find that compartment, I'll lay my comb on top of the head just like that. And I'll rock my comb forward till it gets flat and then bring that closer and to this flat point. Now, the reason I do this is because I'm really trying to create a cut that is shaped to her head. Everybody's head's shaped a little different, so this kind of almost makes it a bit more couture. Knowing that this is the flat point in the front, this will be my guideline for everything to that point. Taking this first kind of triangular section that's falling down, get a visual for where I want my length to be. Cut that off. And that's gonna be my guideline for my layering all the way through. So with that in mind, I'm also making my layering section as opposed to just bringing it all forward, which is, is something you can do. Um, I'm actually gonna just cut it at a slight angle. This angle is the angle of her natural fall of her forward arching section here. Because of that, it'll lay really well with the head shape. Now I'm looking for that point that I've cut on my 
length. So I'm take a little from both sides here to get that visual, I see it. And I'm gonna lift directly 90 degrees from the head and match that point. Next subsequent section, taking again that same diagonal section, pulling it forward, parting in the same spot. You'll see how the hair started from a really triangular position and it's starting to become more and more vertical. Because I'm just working with the hair, way her hair naturally falls and naturally wants to lay. I'm not moving my guide as I go through. And at this point, I've really run out of hair on the sides. It's just working from the top. I think that's really gonna be it for that. So following the same pattern that we did on the other side, working in diagonals and eventually becoming vertical, same thing on the other side, starting with my first section, just for my guide. And I see where it's living. My guide's right there, perfect. Now I'm excited to get this dry so you guys can see how much volume we can create. This really is going to be such a versatile haircut for her. And because we cut it with her head shape in mind, no matter how she does it, it's gonna fall just perfectly for her head shape. So I've re-wet her hair and just brushed it back to give it, you know, a little wetness so that I, when I put the products in, it'll glide through the hair really well. First and foremost, I'm gonna start with our thickening spray. This is the Counter of Platinum Thickening Spray. What I love about it, it's just gonna be really perfect for her hair type. It's gonna just give it a little more plumpness and just make it feel much thicker, which for this style will work really well. And then I'm gonna use our Root Lifting Spray. This is the Kenra Root Lifting Spray 13. And this is great because it's gonna give us volume right where we want it, right at the root. This type of haircut is great. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, the 90s bob that's been really popular as well. The butterfly bob and the 90s bob are very similar in that way. Um, both of them really are great with volume. Um, and this is perfect for volume because this is something I can spray right at the root to give me that lift, again, right where I need it. So for the blow dry on this, I'm actually just gonna do like a really rough dry of everything forward, probably with just a paddle brush, and then I'm gonna come back in with a round brush and give it some volume. So as you can see, it gives her perfect amount of volume that's built just to her face shape. So no matter where she goes with it, whether she decides she wants to part it this way, you know, or the other way, she really has a lot of movement, a lot of texture, tons of volume, a lot she can do. Anna, what do you think? I love it. I love it's it too. Amazing. So much volume. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's such a big transformation, but it's so beautiful on you. I hope you loved it too. If you did, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to more Kenra videos just like this.